Breaking news for DC Films over at Warner Brothers. The studio is promoting Walter Hamada to oversee its comic book movies. This is all over the internet right now. I want to talk about who this guy is and what this means for DC Films as we move forward. Let's talk about it. Bam, 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 bam. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love comic book movies, subscribe to this channel. We do all sorts of coverage for those types of films. Oh, and shout out to Scrub Master, who got the nerd card question correct in my latest Ray Jedi training video. You definitely know your stuff when it comes to Star Wars, Scrub Master, so shout out to you. There will be another nerd card question at the end of this video. All right, guys, let's talk DC Films in their new promotion of Walter Hamada. By the way, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But Walter Hamada has now been put in charge to oversee Warner Brothers comic book movies. I'm looking at an article right now on Variety. And they're talking about how John Berg and Jeff Johns were the presidents of DC Films and they have sort of left their position. Berg is now a production partner and more of a producer for other films. So he's sort of just being moved around at Warner Brothers. And I believe Jeff Johns is going to retain his title, but sort of be moved into more of an advisory role role so basically look we all know there's problems going on over with the dc universe and we're all kind of anxiously awaiting to see what warner brothers is actually going to do now this comes you know from a multiple different angles here like are they going to reboot are they going to restructure what exactly is going to happen with the films so let's talk about hamada now hamada has been a production executive at new line which is a division of warner brothers he's helped create films Films like it the gallows and the conjuring now specifically with the conjuring there's a couple of cool things here first of all he's very close with james wan who of course did the conjuring movies and he is of course doing the aquaman movie which is the only slated dc movie to come out in 2018 but I think the really cool thing to realize here about Walter is that he essentially helped the Conjuring series become more than just one movie. They basically made sequels to the movie and then spun off with the Annabelle series and all of that stuff has been incredibly successful for New Line and for Warner Brothers, not just from a financial perspective, but also from a financial perspective. So it will be very interesting for this guy to get his hands on these comic book movies. So I think a big player in this move was Toby Emmerich, who was promoted in 2016 to the president and chief content officer over at WB. Apparently, he worked with Hamada at New Line before he came over to the main studio, and he had this to say about Walter. He said, Walter is creative resourceful and committed to excellence and will bring those qualities to his oversight of our superhero films he went on to add i'm confident walter and jeff working with our filmmaking partners will deliver films that will resonate with both broad global audience as well as DC fanboys and fangirls. I kind of find it funny that he uh, used that phrase, fanboys and fangirls, but it's real talk, man. That's uh, You definitely have to appease uh, those people. I would consider myself one of those people. So it's interesting that he says Walter and Jeff will be working with the filmmaking partners. Now, does this imply that Jeff Johns is going to continue to have a big role over there at Warner Brothers when it comes to their films? I mean, I certainly hope so. I mean, I think Jeff has a tremendous knowledge of these characters. And, you know, look, we don't know too much about what's going on behind the scenes here. But I'd like to believe that having a guy like Jeff Johns around will be good for the future of the DC films. I will also be interested to see if his relationship with James Wan plays any sort of a role in the future. I mean, the Aquaman film 
is, well, I mean, honestly, the spotlight's on this film. It has an unfair amount of pressure on it. I think it might be the perfect opportunity to really set a new tone for the DCEU and sort of get us back on track after Justice League. And, you know, I, look, whether you love or hate Justice League, I think you have to admit that there was a lot of studio tinkering. There were a lot of things going on there that were not that great. And if Aquaman comes out and is an amazing picture, then maybe we could see James Wan even helming other films as we move forward. I mean, look, the one thing a lot of fans are saying is that we need some people in charge over there that have a vision, but you also need to let filmmakers make their films. And it really feels like they're not going to be bringing Zack Snyder at all and sort of abandoning those type of themes, both visually and story-wise, for their characters. Now, whether or not they continue their continuity or they start to play it a little fast and loose with that is yet to be determined. But I think you need a brain trust over there. If they haven't burned the bridge with Joss, I think you get Joss, James Wan, Walter, Jeff Johns, and Patty Jenkins in a room and you start hashing out some story ideas. I mean, they need someone to drive that bus. Is Walter Hamada going to be the new Kevin Feige as character over there? I don't really know, man. I mean, the guy seems like he definitely knows when it comes to films and things of that nature uh, he doesn't seem to have much comic book knowledge at all but who knows if that's very important and with them keeping Jeff Johns over there it might not be that important at all especially if he's willing to listen to Jeff which I do think they should continue to do but that's pretty much the news guys it's sort of a cool thing I didn't expect to get much news out of the comic book world in January it's sort of a dead month but because of what happened with Justice League, the people at Time Warner are pretty upset at the DC Films Division and Warner Brothers in general. There will probably be even more shakeups happening, and I will cover all of that as it rolls out. But what do you guys think about this news? Um, answer that in the comment section. I really want to know. I mean, do you like uh, the fact that this guy has a relationship with James Wan? Do you like that this guy seems to be able to build continuities and spin out of successful films in a way that satisfies audiences, critics, and investors I mean it seems like a good pick to me I just don't know enough about the guy to make a firm statement on it but let me know what you guys think I'm really interested to hear what some of you guys have to say all right guys let's check that nerd card really quickly and you might know this answer if you've looked at some of the articles that are coming out about this move by DC but Warner Brothers is actually looking to make a live action Akira movie and they are courting a certain director for that gig who is the director that Warner Brothers is trying to lock down for their Akira movie answer that question question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya!